friends, in this video I will show you how to set up a beautiful 3D rebar view to display and showcase the rebars in concrete objects easily. First thing, let's make the concrete more transparent so we can actually see the rebars. I have opened up the visibility graphic window, so changes made here will affect the visibility of the objects in this view and only in this view. So I've changed the, the, the transparency for all my concrete objects to about 80%. We hit OK and you can now clearly see our rebars inside our concrete. The next step is to utilize filters. So I've made a tutorial on how to use filters. So just click the link below. OK, so I'm about to create a new rule based filter. Hit new filter, we type in the filter name and then we select the category structural rebar. We just need to scroll down a bit to find it. There, there you go, uh, check the box and then the parameter will be bar diameter because I want to filter based on the bar diameter. The condition will be equal, meaning every bar diameter equal to, in this case 8, will be affected when using the filter. Let's test the filter to see if our filter is working as we intended. We change the bar diameter here to 8 for this rebar set. So back to the filter menu, we adding the filter rule D8 and changing the lines type and pattern to red. We hit the apply. Lovely. All rebars with a diameter of 8 will turn red and be easier to see and distinguish from the rest. Now we are adjusting the obscured settings by selecting the rebar set, going to the properties menu and checking the box view obscured. As you can see, the rebar set becomes more prominent when turning it on. We toggle between the obscured to see the difference more clearly. Perfect tool. Going back to the filter menu to add filters for the remaining bar diameters. So a rule based filter is a filter that identifies elements based on categories, which can be wall or rebars, and then the parametric values like thickness, area or diameter specify it more clearly. Like in our example, we specify the parameter equals to 12 millimeters or 16 or 20 or whatever. So we are finishing up the rule based filters. We add all the diameter rules to the filter menu and start editing the colors. So let's just examine the behavior of the rebar when changing the line color. Now the outer lines are set to black as default, as you can see. We then go back to the filter menu, change them to, um, to blue. And the whole rebar becomes blue when hitting the apply. So this might be a preference if we want to have the lines also in the same color or not. We finish up the bar diameter filters before I will show you the last trick of this video regarding beautiful colorful rebar 3D U. We do a little bit of flexing to see if the rebars change colors when changing the bar diameter. Okay, it looks absolutely perfect. The filters behave just as we intended. Perfect though. So these changes apply to this view, but if I want it to apply to other views as well, I can save it as a view template and all the settings in this view can be applied to whatever 3D view I would like. So we type in the name of the template. We um, open up a new 3D view. Just to rename the ones we are standing in now. Open up a new 3D view. Go to the properties menu. We select view template and apply the newly created template for this view. Voila. 
Thanks for watching.